Dogs are the most popular pets on Earth, but there are some breeds that are much more commonly seen than others. This can be the result of them having more desirable personalities and the way that they look. But what if you wanted one that's a little more… unusual? Here are the 15 rarest dog breeds in the world. <sighs> Number 15. Catahoula Leopard Dog Named after Catahoula Parish in Louisiana, it's not known where the Catahoula Leopard Dog originated, but it's thought to have been first bred during the 18th century, after French settlers had arrived in the area and their Beauceron dogs intermixed with local breeds. They soon became popular for use as hunting dogs, particularly with larger game, and also showed skills at herding livestock. Quite the skill set on these little fellas. They are usually up to 26 inches tall, with a weight of up to 112 pounds, and can be a range of different base colors. Although they have the distinctive and totally adorable leopard type patterning. And they're not supposed to look like a greyhound. They should be real evenly balanced. They have been bred for their temperament and are now important working dogs, so much so that they were declared the official dog of Louisiana in 1976. Who even knew that was a thing? They are energetic and very clever, and need to be kept busy otherwise they'll become restless. This means they aren't necessarily a good species to be a family pet, and they struggle to get on with other animals, but are ideal when they have roles to perform, such as on hunts or working with search and rescue teams. Some dogs are just better at working than they are at being part of a family, like my dad. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Curly Coated Retriever Curly coated retrievers love playing outdoors, and were first bred in England where they were used to hunt birds and waterfowl. Because of this, they are excellent swimmers, and will take any opportunity they can to jump onto the water. They are the tallest of any type of retriever, often growing to 27 inches, and are easily recognizable by their tightly packed curls of fur across their bodies. This repels water and keeps the dog well protected against the cold, and means they'll happily stay in rivers or ponds for hours on end. They are incredibly energetic, but unlike the Catahoula Leopard Dog, are also well-loved family pets. They do need a lot of exercise, though. But if they do, they'll be calm and relaxed when at home. They're superbly loyal to their owners, and will protect them against any threat that arises. Training can be difficult with this breed because they soon become bored and disinterested when being asked to repeatedly perform the same tasks. They may also be very skeptical and distant from visitors who they haven't met before. But once they've become more accustomed to them, they'll treat them as one of their own. Number 13. Canaan Dog you may also know the Canaan Dog as the Bedouin Sheepdog or the Palestinian Pariah Dog, and this is a breed that originated in the Middle East thousands of years ago. Excavations at the world's largest ancient pet cemetery in Ashkelon, Israel, found the remains of more than 700 Canaans, which are thought to have been a revered animal at the time. They have a primitive appearance, have unusually low set ears, and have wedge-shaped heads. Their thick coats can range in color, from blacks and creams to browns and reds, and they may also have spots or blotches. They are very easily trained, and thanks to their history of working with nomads across hard terrain, they have a particularly heightened survival instinct. They'll bark and grow restless when any strangers approach, and this makes them ideal watchdogs. They aren't very aggressive, but will grow anxious if you spend too much time with people they aren't familiar with, and can become overprotective of children. Surprisingly, for such a historic breed, there are only thought to be between two and 3,000 individuals in the world, and it was only in 1965 that the first was taken to the US. Number 12. Scottish Deerhound 
Scottish Deerhounds are physically very similar to Greyhounds, but they're much larger and covered in a wiry coat. That means they're well adapted to harsh weather conditions. They were bred in Scotland specifically to hunt red deer by coursing and, at 32 inches tall with a weight of up to 110 pounds, they could easily overpower their prey once they caught up with it. They have an incredibly friendly temperament and are eager to please their owners. They do, however, need a huge amount of exercise, especially when growing up, so they need constant access to open areas to run around in. They need to run, they have to have a good gallop. It's difficult, therefore, to keep one in urban environments, so they're more commonly seen on farms and in rural locations. A variety of colors are possible, such as gray, blue-gray, yellow, or red, with paintings from 19th century Scotland often depicting them in these shades. Now, deer hunting isn't such a common activity. Deer hounds like this aren't bred for this reason anymore. But they're still used as work dogs and family pets, especially by those who want something a little different. Number 11. Norwegian Boohound The Norwegian Boohound is a relatively small breed, growing to 18 inches tall with a weight of up to 40 pounds. But they have a feisty personality that makes them ideal for herding livestock and for keeping watch. They can also be a perfect family pet, but only if you have the time to provide them with a lot of stimulation and long walks. They're closely related to the Icelandic sheepdogs and have high-set tails, a wedge-shaped head, and prickly ears. They can be anywhere between pale cream and bright orange in color, often with hints of both, but can also be fully black too with small tufts of white hair. Norwegian boohounds are incredibly friendly and form close bonds with their owners, often walking up close with them and requiring frequent cuddles. Let's hope that's legitimate love and not some kind of canine Stockholm syndrome. They are are very energetic though and require a huge amount of exercise, and have to be watched when they're around children just in case they get overexcitable. This is not a breed that's suitable for those who spend a lot of time indoors, but if you're active and looking for a dog that'll follow you wherever you go, then they are ideal. Number 10. Glen of Amal Terrier Originating from the Glen of Amal in Ireland, the Glen of Amal Terrier is one of the four Irish Terrier breeds, but after almost completely dying out in the 20th century, they're the least known, and by far the rarest, with only several hundred in the US. <coughs> They were originally bred for animal control, tasked with hunting down rats, foxes, badgers, and otters, and were trained to hunt silently so their prey didn't have any warning that they were coming. They are the stealth units of the canine community. They are often described as being a big dog on short legs, but are still larger than you might expect from images. They can grow to 14 inches tall, with a weight of 36 pounds, which means they're the ideal size to dig into burrows. While many are still kept as work dogs, it's more common to now see them as family pets. They're very kind, especially around children, and are quick to socialize. When they sit down, they do what's called the Glen Sit, where they sit on their hind legs and keep the rest of their body held vertically, which is something you won't see with many breeds. And they have several other behaviors, especially when hunting small animals, that are totally unique to them. Number 9. Dandy Dinmont Terrier Dandy Dinmonts are a small breed of terrier, specifically growing to 11 inches tall, and with a weight of no more than 24 pounds. They originated in Scotland in the 1600s, when they were used to hunt badgers and otters, and were ideally suited to this role because of their long bodies with muscular necks. They are the only Scottish Terrier to have spendulous ears and have a silky smooth coat that forms a top knot on the head. They're a tough breed that will stubbornly keep trying to do the same thing until they manage it, but because of their long spines, special attention has to be made to prevent them from injuring themselves. They are seen as one of the most docile of terrier breeds, hardly requiring anything from their owners apart from regular walks, and they'll stand their own against any other animals. They are, though, great companions, and gentle enough to have around older children. One thing to watch out for, though, is their their ability to dig holes in a very short space of time, which can cause havoc in your backyard if you're not prepared for it. Number 8. Pyrenean Shepherd 
Pyrenean Shepherd Dogs originated in the Pyrenees Mountains, where they have been used to herd livestock since the Middle Ages. They are the smallest of the French and Spanish herding breeds, measuring just 21 inches tall at the most, and with a weight range of between 15 and 32 pounds. It can be quite surprising how energetic they are, especially when they seem so small in comparison to other dogs. But their sheep herding past is still very clear with those who are kept as pets. They'll be keen to get involved in whatever is going on, and can be easily trained to play games like fly ball and agility exercises. They tend to attach to one person and follow them around wherever they go, and seem to tune in well to their owner and sense what they're supposed to do. As long as they have access to open space and have plenty of room to run around, the Pyrenean Shepherds will always be happy. While they're a favorite breed in their native countries of France and Spain, they're rarely seen elsewhere. Although in recent years, groups of enthusiasts have formed in both the UK and the US, suggesting their popularity is on the rise. Number 7. Finnish Spitz Originating in Finland, Finnish Spits were originally bred for hunting a wide variety of game, of all sizes, from the smallest squirrels to large bears. Instead of engaging with the target themselves, they are a bark pointer, which means they bark to draw attention to where the game is and will act as a diversion to allow the hunter to approach from a different direction. <laughs> In Finland, it's a breed that is still usually used for hunting, but elsewhere they've become popular as pets. There's evidence that the breed or predecessors very similar to them have been around for at least 8,000 years, growing to up to 20 inches tall and weighing up to 31 pounds. They are highly adaptable, but have to be kept stimulated. They are energetic and need at least two walks per day, but so long as they get this, they'll remain calm and inactive when indoors. At home, they need to be part of the family and will form tight bonds with every person they have regular contact with. They also get on very well with other dogs, but having been bred as hunters, aren't so reliable around other smaller animals. Number six, Finnish Lapound. The amazing looking Finnish Lapound was bred in its home country for herding reindeer. But while they're incredibly popular in Finland, surprisingly you'll rarely see one outside of the Nordic countries. Typically growing to up to 20 inches tall and weighing up to 53 pounds, they are strong dogs with a luxuriously thick coat. It ensures they can withstand freezing temperatures and also makes them waterproof. Of the only two breeds that are allowed to be kenneled outside in Finland in the winter, the Finnish Laphound is one, which just goes to show how hardy they really are. They are a highly intelligent breed, with many owners suggesting they can fully think through their actions before making a move and they are incredibly warm and friendly. They're often kept as family pets, are safe around young children, and can adapt to home life very easily. While they'll be the first to bark at the sign of danger, they won't engage with a threat unless they feel their owners are at risk and will prefer to encourage everyone to run away to safety with them. Number five, Otterhound. Otterhounds were first bred in the northwest of England in the 19th century and became popular scenthounds that were used in hunts across the country. They're a large breed, growing up to 27 inches tall and weighing up to 115 pounds, and are easily recognizable because of their imposing heads and rough curly double coats. They have a long stride when they run, so are able to cover considerable distances, which makes them a perfect working breed. With an oily coat, they are quite happy getting wet and are able to follow scents through mud and water up to 72 hours after the prey has passed by. Their noses are so sensitive that once they pick up on a scent, it can be almost impossible to let it go and ignore it, meaning they need close supervision when they're outdoors. Indoors though, they can be an absolute pleasure to have around because they're so friendly, but very few people ever get to see this. Worldwide, there are only an estimated 599 otterhounds and are classified as a vulnerable breed. Number four, Harrier. 
The Harrier is a breed of hound that's slightly bigger than a beagle, typically growing to around 21 inches tall to the shoulder. Often described as looking like a beagle on steroids, they are muscular, with a short coat, and can keep going over long distances because of their powerful skeleton. The first written record of the breed comes from 1735, in which their prowess at hunting is mentioned, and to this day, they are used to track down hares and foxes, mainly in Ireland. Despite being bred to hunt, they're an exceptionally friendly breed and are particularly good around children. They get on great with other dogs too, and are social creatures, so will happily pack with people too. But they shouldn't be allowed around other species in case they see them as prey. They need a large amount of daily exercise, with at least two long walks, and access to an outdoor area where they can play. But while they're out, they'll tend to follow scents and explore, so usually need to be kept on a lead in case they get too distracted and lost. Number 3. Sesky Terrier Originating in Czechoslovakia, the Sesky Terrier is a small breed of hunting terrier that's a crossbreed between a Sealy Ham Terrier and a Scottish Terrier. The idea was that they would be suited to hunting in the forests of Bohemia, and after first being bred in 1948, they began to attract worldwide attention and were soon exported overseas. The first were imported into the US. They should look like they're ready for action, they're ready for work. In the 1980s, and have since been highly sought after. It's not so easy to get a hold of one though, because they are regarded as the sixth rarest dog breed in the world, simply because there aren't very many breeding pairs. They are typically expected to grow to 12.5 inches tall, at the shoulders, with a weight of up to 22 pounds. With natural drop ears and a grey, charcoal, or platinum coat, they are distinctly terriers, but with hair on their heads that looks quite unnatural. They are a very calm breed, which don't need too much exercise, and are therefore quite popular as family pets, especially when they will be around small children. Number 2. American Foxhound the American Foxhound is a breed that has derived from several other Foxhounds, having been imported to the US over the past few centuries. They were bred specifically for hunting foxes, but unusually, there are actually at least seven different strains, each of which with their own individual look, but all of which fall under the designation of this one breed. They are known for having a musical bay that echoes for miles around, and because of this aren't so ideal for owning in urban environments. Growing to 29 inches tall, with a weight of around 71 pounds, they've got some serious bulk to them, but they're athletic and energetic, and can cover great distances without needing a rest. They are friendly and easygoing, as long as they've had enough exercise. But if they become restless, they can become one of the most mischievous breeds of all. They've had long legs selectively bred into them, so are incredibly fast. So it's vital that they're fully trained before being let off the leash. Otherwise, you might never get them back. Number 1. English Foxhound Closely related to American Foxhounds, the English Foxhound is a breed that's native to the UK, having been first created in the 16th century. The English Foxhound coat is short, hard, and glossy. Hunts had previously focused on deer, but after their population numbers began to severely drop, another animal was chosen to chase, the fox. So a new type of dog was needed to help. Focusing on traits like speed and stamina, the English Foxhound works best in packs and is a scent hound, following its prey by just the smell. They grow up to 27 inches tall and can be any traditional hound color, such as tricolor, tan, red, or black and white. They are very social and love to play with adults and children alike. But since they were bred for such a specific purpose, it's tough to keep them as pets. They are only happy when hunting foxes or running across vast distances, so are still only usually kept for hunts. In England, now that fox hunting has been banned, very few English foxhounds are bred, and they will soon become one of the rarest in the world. Have you ever seen one of these breeds in real life? And which which would you most like to have as a pet? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!